One Night in Miami is a stirring, well-made drama about the night in 1964 when football legend Jim Brown, activist Malcolm X, singer Sam Cooke, and boxer Cassius Clay got together to celebrate Clay's upset victory that made him heavyweight champion of the world. Minister Malcolm X. Good news, the chariot is coming. You know I'm the greatest, that's right. Jim Brown takes the ball. Your record is gonna stand the test of time. All together, yeah. Yes, Cassius Marcellus Clay is the new heavyweight champion of the world, boy. Yes, he is. And I don't even have yes, a scratch on my face. Why am I so pretty? Uh. The four famous friends are in high spirits when they meet in the modest hotel suite of Kingsley Ben Adir as Malcolm X, by far the most radical of the group. All of these talented actors are allowed full expression by Regina King, the Oscar winning actress who directed this film. Three of the men expect a party. But Malcolm X, as their host, has other ideas. He wants his friends to do more for other black Americans. And so, for much of this rousing film, the four engage in a fierce debate over how best to use their celebrity status to help African Americans achieve equality. Malcolm is especially hard on Sam Cooke, the soul singer Malcolm thinks is all about entertaining white people. Darling, you You're just a wind-up toy in a music box. You're a monkey dancing for an organ grinder to them. Malcolm doesn't realize that Sam has helped many other black musicians record their own music and has been writing A Change Is Gonna Come, a song that became a civil rights anthem. But I know change gonna come. Leslie Odom Jr. is not lip-syncing, and he sounds almost exactly like Sam Cooke. It's sobering to realize that the kind of discrimination these men battled half a century ago is still with us today. Terry Hunter, Hawaii News Now.